Hey, welcome and thanks for joining us. Today, Nikola's stock fell just about 10%. And just when you thought it couldn't drop any further, if we look at their one year chart, the trend is clear. And the reason they dropped was because Nikola was in talks with oil giant BP over a possible deal before allegations of fraud. Oh no, sorry, that, that's September 24th. Nikola strategic partner Bosch reduces stake Oh, no, sorry, that was that was December. Nikola shares drop as GM pulls plug on investment deal. No, no. Nikola stock crashes after announcing cancellation of contract with Republic Services for 2,500 garbage trucks. Okay, I think this is the right one, December 23rd. There we go. Yeah, this is a big deal. At the time, this was a really awesome positive catalyst, a 2,500 garbage truck order. And we can see back in August 10th what happened when they announced this. August 10th right here. We'll go over a couple of articles and I'll give you my thoughts. The electric trucks were going to use Nikola Trey's powertrain system and offer 150 miles on a charge in this implementation. Now, 150 miles doesn't even seem like a lot. This is a game changer, said Nikola CEO Mark Russell. Nikola has fully integrated the chassis and body covering both with a single factory warranty. Trucks will include both automated side loaders and front end loaders, all of which will be zero emission. What he failed to mention was that they will be zero emission because they don't actually run. Now, recently, Nikola did release a Nikola Trey prototype, which works in their defense, but it's easy to build one prototype, especially if you hobble it together with a bunch of other companies working parts. I still don't really understand the value Nikola offers. Their engine is made by Romero, and I think they have some patent on the design or how the batteries are put together. It's all very murky, but let's dive into the main article. The undoing of Nikola continues. Today, the company announced the termination of its contract with Republic Services for 2,500 garbage trucks. Announced back in August, the deal had Nikola building garbage trucks in 2023 with on-road testing scheduled for 2024. This is the latest deal to unravel for Nikola as it tries to patch up following recent devastating reports. We went over a couple of them. If you are still invested in Nikola, I genuinely want to know why. It's just bad news after bad news. Just when you think it can't get any worse, it gets worse. According to Nikola, the separation of the two companies was mutual, though it's hard to picture Nikola's SEC troubles didn't weigh heavily on Republic Services. Yeah, sure, it's mutual, like, you know, when you are sitting at home eating Doritos and you have no job and you provide no value and your wife, uh, let's say, is a corporate lawyer and makes $400,000 a year and she decides to break up with you and, you know, you're there with your Dorito dust on your clothing and you're like, oh, yeah, 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 it was, it was definitely mutual because I wasn't the man she needed to be quite yet, but Someday I'll get there. Totally, totally mutual. This was the right decision for both companies given the resources and investments required, Nicola's CEO Mark Russell said in a release statement. Quote, we support and respect Republic Services' commitment to achieving environmentally responsible, sustainable solutions for their customers. Nicola remains laser focused on delivering on our battery electric and fuel cell electric commercial truck programs and the energy infrastructure to support them. Mark Russell is a master at a uh, saying so many words and not really saying anything at all. At least Trevor Milton. And you know what? I really miss the guy. At least he could tell a freaking story. News of this deal is sending Nikola's stock down 10% in pre-market trading. If this level holds upon the stock markets open, Nikola will be trading at its lowest levels following its monumental rise over the summer months. The deal with Republic Services was originally a victory banner for the once high-flying electric vehicle startup. Signaled as mainstream acceptance of the company, Republic Services' contract came before a mega $2 billion investment from General Motors. That deal is also canceled following several key revelations about the company that led to an SEC investigation and the company's chairman stepping down. Well, it's not completely canceled. Remember, they still have a memorandum or a partnership, according to some members of the media and in this memorandum general motors has agreed to sell them their engine and nikola has agreed to pay money in order to buy general motors uh engine and other parts i'm sorry if you're tired of my shitty metaphors but i like making
asking them. This is as real as a relationship between the woman I paid to join me at my family gatherings to pretend to be my girlfriend so my parents will stop worrying why I am always alone and in my room, but little did they know I'm just talking about Nicola. So jokes on them, I am making something of myself. Back to the article. In a statement, Nicola says deliveries of Nicola Trey battery electric semi trucks will begin in US 2021 and the company expects to break ground on its first commercial hydrogen station in 2021. And then in 2023, the company expects to produce its fuel cell electric semi trucks at its Coolidge, Arizona facility. Battery electric are coming first and then fuel cell electric will be coming in 2023. Despite all of the negative things I say about Nikola, there is one pro that I have to mention and that's their electric truck plant has started a building in Arizona. There has been a uh, YouTube channel that's been flying a drone over the construction site for many months now, I believe, and it's just been barren. No movement, a few cars driving around, but it seems like they have actually started this manufacturing plant and you would think this is is a plus and it is but based on their track record i don't know what's going to happen i i don't think their company is a complete fraud or scam i just think it's one of the worst run companies i've ever seen um, they might ultimately build something, but is it going to sell? Is it going to be able to be at the price point they say, at the specs they say? I have my doubts for a variety of reasons. Anyways, that's it. Just a short video to give you an update of what's happening with our favorite company. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out a lot. This is Green Knight Trading, where squares become knights. I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon.